Mike and Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it! I've seen that look before. Son of a bitch! I can't believe what he did to Arvo. Next time, he's gonna kill him. Do you really want to be around for that? I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy, too. Once. Probably had a nice job, a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day, he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. You might be right. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. Seems like you've done that before. You wanna try? No way. It's gonna puke. Clem, no. Hold it like this. Hey. Hi. <laughs> My name's Jane. I think it's gonna puke. It's not gonna puke. <coughs> it puked. It puked. Gross. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near D.C. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. So we made it? Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turned and ripped the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. He got it working. 